what's up guys here i am back again once again with another reaction video y'all i'm sorry my dog he's gonna be all up in the video boom okay so last night you know normally i'm saying i do reactions about the same time every night or day whatever it is your way you know what i'm saying but last night when i came home i was already talking to my dad about reactions i was about to do boom I had the biggest migraine of my life. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to see nothing, hear nothing. I was just, I don't know. I was crying. My head was hurting so bad. But, so I said, I'm going to drop a reaction for y'all right before I go to work. And y'all been commenting this Tupac vibe interview all up in the conversation. Just all up in it. You know. My dad told me it was 25 minutes long, so I went ahead and did a hours before I gotta go to work. So let's get into I'm about to do this Tupac vibe interview. Let's get right into it. Yeah. Just remember that right here I could have been doing something with a lot of curses in it and I wouldn't have rhymed with all live vibes and last word. It'd have been a whole bunch of motherfucking rock and rockers. But I ain't gonna do that for the kids out there, so I changed. But changing the world because my mm. thought patterns are so opposite of what's the norm. Yeah. So hey, I right. have to change the world. Hey, it it is. His thought patterns, patterns are really different. It really um, is. How is it working with Shug and having your fans close to you? And a lot of your East Coast fans feel like your new allegiance to the West Coast has felt, you know, a lot of them feel maybe you're not as loyal to the East Coast anymore. And That's so nonsense. It's poppycock. <laughs> This is not a new allegiance to the West Coast. I've been on the West Coast all this time. It's just because some people, not all, right. some people on the East Coast be on their dick so hard that they never heard me say that I'm living on the West Coast. Right. It's just that by me keeping it real, I always said where I came from. I okay. always gave New York big props. On Me Against the World, I took a whole song to give it up. So now on the next album, when I want to give it up from my home, where I'm at, Everybody got a problem? Why didn't we have no problem with Biggie saying Brooklyn in the house every fucking show he do? Okay. Why didn't I have a problem with Bronx and Boom? They just did a Sprite commercial up um, the bridge and KRS. Brooklyn. What? Why is it not hip hop when I do it? Why, okay. I mean, goddamn. That's true. Why that's fact. That's fact. That's fact. That's fact. Why everybody else could have a war, have beef within the music, talk about differences, and it's okay. It's music. It's hip hop. It's groundbreaking. When I do it, it's war. Mm-hmm. And that's all I'm doing. All I'm doing is saying I'm tired of you talking about where you from. And, and if that's what we're going to do now, because we was doing it like hip-hop was one nation. And I have proof to say what, what I was doing. I did more for the East Coast than the East Coast did. I put more guns in East Coast niggas' hands than East Coast niggas did when they came out here. I put the niggas on the more weed gates and weed spots and safe havens and safe spots than the East Coast did. I put more rappers on than they did. I gave Biggie his first shows. I was the one that put, I was that bridge that niggas used to walk on to get over here. I explained it. I'm the one that told you. I'm why all these niggas run around with a gangbang on their payroll now. Is there still a beef going on with you and Biggie? It was never a beef. It's only a difference in opinion. Right. To okay. me, if I, like, my, my homeboy Sugar gave me the best advice I could ever get from anybody. He said, He's, when people ask him if he's beefing with um, Bad Boy, with Puffy, he says, like, me going to a playground and picking on a little kid. Right. That's like me being mad at my little brother because he getting cash now. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at that. I'm just mad at my little brother when he don't respect me. Yeah. Now, when you don't respect me, I'm going to spank your ass. I don't give a fuck how rich you got. <laughs> I'm your big brother. I will break your big ass down. <laughs> and that's my, that's, only, that's my only point. And I feel as though he wronged me. You got out of hand and you're wrong, but you got seduced by the power. Not because he's an evil person, yeah. but because money is evil if it's not handled right. Mm -hmm. If you lose your composure, you can do anything. And he, he fear got stronger than love, and niggas did things that they know they weren't supposed to do. Mm -hmm. They know in their heart. That's why they in hell now. Right. They can't sleep. That's why they're telling all of the reporters and all the people, why they doing this? They fucking up their pop with the Because they in hell. They can't make money. They can't go anywhere. They can't look at themselves because they know. 
prodigal son has returned. I'm alive. The ghost is walking around. You know what I mean? And I'm alive talking. In jail, I didn't talk. I made peace. Now, everybody thinks that I disrespected or I love, I love my East Coast fans. I'm from there. I'm eating New York pizza. I drive New York jeeps. want to hear New York. But I'm saying let's keep it real for a second. If you have the love of music that you are, study. Go back and study. Mm-hmm. Study how party and bullshit was me before I met Biggie. You don't hear my style in this rap. Study how after I met Biggie, Ready to Die come out, his whole style changed. Study. Mm-hmm. Study why I would be mad. Study why I be, would be mad when half of New York, half of the major New York rappers, or they, or they managers, or they agents, or they somebody, mm-hmm. was there when I got shot. And nobody could give me no information. Just study yeah. that. Study how when Wu Tang got their chain snatched at Six Six Deuce, I not only found who did it, right. but gave them the message that if they want to see the niggas that did it, they can see them. Wow. Man to man, just you and them. Right. No guns, no nothing. Right. If you feel like that, that's all I ask for. That's all I ask for. If you're gonna act like you a gangster or a G or the king of New York, I'm expect that. And when you don't come through, then I'm gonna crush your empire. And that's what it's time for. Yeah, he's speaking facts, though. Like, he's speaking facts. Like, he really speaking facts. That's all I can pretty much say so far. Like, his thought, like, his state of mind is so different from, like, because it's, it's very, I don't want to say it's rare, but. Most all rappers don't have the same mindset. Some rappers just be rapping just because. Some rappers just be rapping to send a message. Some rappers be rapping to have a purpose. Like, you can see Tupac, his mindset is really, really, really different. Like, it's really different. But this should get me back into it. Um, so, do you think Puffy was involved in the Only they can answer that question. I have my own opinion, but I wouldn't slander their name like they did mine. I wouldn't say things that I knew. You know what I mean? I believe so. I do believe so. I have proof, things that I can say that will back up my claim, but this is not for the world to know about. You know what I mean? It's between me and him, and only he knows. So every time he say it didn't happen, or that's the only thing that makes this become an issue to everybody. Because I, read, I, I you see what I said in the Vibe article. I basically bowed out and was going to go ahead about my life. The next issue... That, no, it wasn't even the next issue because them cowards waited about four issues before they got their story together. Four issues later, half of New York is commenting on me getting shot. And before, they was all like, we didn't see nothing. In the first issue, we did five viewers. Nobody seen shit. The fourth issue, when they came back with a reply, everybody knew what I did. They knew what I said. I was acting. Who gets shot five times in acts? Oh, I didn't get shot five times in their vision. I only got shot once because they found the bullet. The police found him, but now they the cops. Now they doing detective work. <laughs> they found the bullet. Oh, you found the bullet, huh? So what is this other shit in me then? What was the doctors talking about? Yeah. What? Can you explain these other holes in me? How did I get gun popping all over me? That's what, if that insulted my intelligence. That's crazy. So, yes, I did say Thug Life was dead. Yes, I bowed out, all of that. But when they said that, they breathed new life in me. Yeah. And Thug Life not only became a rap group, but it became a way of life for life for me because they, they disrespected me, my name, my family, what I had been through. They said that I couldn't be in pain. I could not feel, I could not be hurt. In my moment of pain, they was, when I was shot five times in jail for a crime I didn't commit, while every other black person, I mean, whoever they was fucking babies in the ass or killing bitches and cutting them in 50 pieces, these niggas got support. I go to jail for a crime. Everybody know I did not commit. Get shot five times. And I'm getting raped in jail. Wimpy, wompy. They just say anything to assassinate yeah. my character. What that show me? Remember. Remember this lack of a conscience when I come out. Remember this lack of mercy when I come out. Remember this lack of compassion when I come out. But now I come out, everybody want to calm down and relax and forget what you said. Mm-hmm. Do- Donnie Simpson was on TV in front of bars like this going, who am I? Tupac, uh-huh. but I'm wrong. You feel me? Niggas is hypocrites. You read why I gave my whole soul to you motherfuckers and said, yo, I'm through. I'm, I just want to chill. I just want to live like... Mm-hmm. And motherfuckers took shots from every direction. They thought that meant that I'm gay now. He had fucked me in the ass now. Mm-hmm. So, okay, you want to see some macho shit? I'm the 
the most macho nigga out here. I'm the most, I thought you niggas knew. I'm the most thuggest nigga out here. I'm the whole, I have no motherfucking fear. I have no fear. I have only ambition, and I want mine, and I will do anything to protect and feed my family. And these niggas represent a threat. Because I will Sorry, you guys. I ended up sneezing a little, Jesus. But, all right, let's just get back into it. But so far, like, you know, like, he don't try to get people, and you can tell, like, he don't try to get people all up in his business. Like, all of them in his business. It's like, if you fire, he gonna fire back. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you want the heat, he, he gonna bring you the heat, you know? And I really do like that because it's not like he going out here and start, it ain't, well, it ain't like he was going out here and start problems with, Biggie or anybody else, you know, it was just like, so this what you want, like this this what you starting. I'm gonna give you what you want. But he trying not like bash. He was trying not like bash people. Let me get you. I feel you, boo. You know what I'm saying? But let's just get back into it. And as far as hip hop and all of that, I feel as though I'm not the god of hip hop. But what we do on the West Coast, I sold five million in two months. Biggie album been out two years. He's barely touching two million. This nigga that had 50 remixes, a thousand. He got everybody in New York in his videos and still barely touching two million. I've been out Damn. two months. My shit sold five million with two videos out. I'm just starting. These niggas can't touch us. They can't. Yes. They can't. It's funny. I think the new era yes. That's what they want to do. Okay. That's what they want to do because now everybody is shell shocked and they have the trauma. We've been having traumatic nights always. I want to get away from it a lot. I tried to get away from it, but you can't. That's what they taught me. Right. The streets didn't teach me that thug life can never die. The world taught me that. Mm. I thought I could retire and move on. When I moved on to the so, so called real world, the, the civilized world, these motherfuckers is worse than the niggas in the streets. Mm. They was telling I had little girls writing to me crying, saying you got raped in jail. I'm so wow. sorry. That shit right there is what will fuel the anger that will never die. Having a, I had to write letters to a thousand little kids explaining to them that I would be dead before a motherfucker would rape me, and you know that. So as far as everybody, there is no mercy in my heart. You know what I mean? I'm not out here on no wild shit like I was before. This is not the same Tupac. Believe me. I'm just very pissed off. And okay. don't think because you see me at an award show smiling or giving away an award or because I don't fight it this time. And I'm, that don't mean I ain't mad. I'm pissed off. And this ain't, don't tell me ain't nothing wrong and we should all be together and woo woo because y'all niggas ain't getting no more money. You ain't getting no money because I made it that way. You have groups coming out of producing? Yeah, the Outlaws. I murdered Thug Life um. and gave birth to the Outlaws. I murdered Thug Life. The niggas ain't acting like I murdered all of them. As far as the music business. And I gave birth to the outlaws. And they all blood relatives. Now I've got a military, not mob like Italians, but mob like we've been mob orientated all our lives. Mm -hmm. Fuck that shit they be telling me about. Because everybody's saying because we choose to be organized now that we are emulating Italians and we should emulate Italians because they don't like us. Motherfuckers got it twisted. You know what I mean? Right. We got organization because we peak game. And it's mm -hmm. not the mob really that we're seeing, it's really the government. They Yes. 
Y'all, this video was recorded, what, 20-something years ago? Excuse me. They still be saying that to this. Female, excuse me, y'all, I'm sorry. I don't know why I got a little thirst when I just did that, you know what I'm saying, eight, eight hours ago. But anyway, like, females still be saying that nowadays. Like, I be looking on Facebook, I be like... Like, they still be saying that nowadays. They really do. Like, ain't nothing changed with that part, that aspect. You know what I'm saying? All these bitches ain't shit. For me, I can't do that. I, I can't turn my love off for a woman. No matter if they send me to jail and they talk shit and they really do piss me off. But I still can't love a man. I still love women. I still get excited when it comes mm -hmm. to women and all that. So I feel as though what I can offer is my, my viewpoint, who I am, and my, my style, my lifestyle. Right. And that I'm, I believe in my heart that I'm a man's man. I, I'm a man's man. I made myself. I, I'm, a, I'm a millionaire by my own hands. You know what I mean? Right. I fight for myself. I believe in fighting for myself. Right. I'm a struggler, a striver. I take care of my family. I take everything that you want, I do. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's just that I'm real. So I don't, I'm not politically Stop. correct, but I'm still a man's man. And I believe in family values. Okay, then. A very, very, very strong woman. And one who was more in love with me than I was. Because I have to be more in love with her than she is. And that's what it is. Let me tell y'all. If I was around back then, me and Tupac, we would have just been like. You know what I'm saying? We would just. But I don't know how I would have been here because my parents are like, are like 40, 41. So, I mean, it probably wouldn't work out. But if it, it was, how about I say this? If me and him was in a different lifetime and we crossed paths, you know what I'm saying? And that would have been my boat. Like, but that's on another note, you know what I'm saying? We just going to push all that to the side and get right back into it. Every time I fall in love with a woman, I don't fall in love with the woman she is. I fall in love with the woman that she could be. I never found, haven't found a woman yet that fits up to my standards. And I'm sure I don't fit up to anybody's standards. But I haven't found one yet. But I, I found ones that I think that have the potential to be a raw woman in the world. You know what I mean? I feel like it's natural for a man, especially being black, to feel like he's a king and he's looking for his queen. And that's where I'm at right now. You can't be a king until you've made yourself, until you've done something. Mm -hmm. And I've accomplished my Same goals. way with a female. Same way with a female. Same way with a female. I, I set out goals to make me a king. Now, I feel not a king of anybody else but me. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody else is under my rule but me and my kids. You know what I mean? But I made myself into a king. Now I need a queen to be happy so that I can be a teacher and a father. I can't be that until I find a queen. So I'm stuck in the Are so white and pretty. Oh my god. Sit my little homie home. Put him in the cab or something. Uh-uh, dude. 
doing that at 2 o'clock. All right? That's crazy. Five million. Man, good gracious. I ain't even ever seen a thousand dollars. A million? Five million?
shot. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm we don't turn water to wine, but we turn motherfucking dope, dope fiends and dope heads into profitable, um, pro- productive citizens into society. You know what I mean? We don't do, we don't, you know, we turn money. We turn words into money. You know what I mean? How, what, what greater gift can there be? So I believe God blesses us. I believe God blesses those that hustle, those that use their mind, and those that overall are righteous. I believe that your karma, everything that you do bad comes back to you. Uh-huh. So anything that I'm doing that's bad, I'm going to have to suffer for. But in my heart, I think what I'm doing is right. You know what I mean? So I feel like I'm going to heaven. You know what I mean? And I think heaven is just when you sleep, you sleep with a good conscience. You don't have nightmares. And hell is when you yeah. sleep, the last thing you see is all the fucked up things you did in your life. And you uh-huh. see it over and over again. Because you don't burn. Because if, if that's the case, it's hell on earth. Because bullets burn. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's people that got burned in fires. That means they went to hell already. You know what I mean? All that is here. So what, what else? What do you got there that we ain't seen here? What, you gonna walk around aimlessly, that zombie? Nigga, that's here. You ain't been on the streets lately. You know what I mean? What, what heaven is now. Look, we sitting up here in the big screen. It's heaven for the moment. You know what I mean? Hell is jail. I seen that one. Trust me, this is, this is what's real. And all that other shit is to control you. If the churches took half the money that they was making and gave it back to the community, we'd be all right. If they take half the buildings that they use to praise God and gave it to motherfuckers who need God, we be all right. We be all right. Have you seen some of these goddamn churches lately? It's ones that take up the whole block in New York. It's homeless people out here. Why ain't God letting them stay here? Why these niggas got gold ceilings and shit? Why God need gold ceilings to talk to me? Why do God need colored windows to talk to me? Why God can't come where I'm at, where he sent me? If God wanted to talk to me in a pretty spot like that, why the hell he sent me here then? You know what I mean? That that make ghetto kids not believe in God. Why? So that's wrong religion. I believe in God. I believe God put us wherever we want to be at. Then it makes sense that God would put us in the ghetto. That means he wants to work hard to get up out of here. That means he's testing us even more. That makes sense. It makes sense that if you're good in your heart, then you're you closer to God. But if you're evil, then you're close to the devil. That makes sense. I see that every day. All that other spooky shit don't make sense. And I don't even believe, I'm not dissing them, but I don't believe in the brothers. I was in jail with them and having conversations. With brothers, I'm God, I'm God. You God, open the gate for me. Mm-hmm. You know how far the sun is and how far the moon is? How the hell do I pop this fucking gate and get me free up out of here? Then I'll be a five percent of for life. Wow. Never seen it. Wow. Wow. That video got me kind of speechless, y'all. This is a reaction. It got me kind of speechless. Like that's my reaction. I'm speechless. Like he has a very different mindset than anyone I have ever seen or anyone that I have talked to or anyone that I have watched. His mindset was so different. And it's just like, he thinks beyond, beyond a different point. I can't even explain it. But that was a really interesting interview. I know I didn't say much during the interview because it just really left me speechless. Like, yeah, you're right. That's the same way. When he was talking about the king and queen, that's the same way with females. The queen needs to make sure she's up to par before she go out there and try to find herself a, a dude. But you need to keep, keep... Why are you going to get somebody that's on a different level than you and then try to bring you down? Why don't y'all just come together and bring each other up so y'all can build an empire together? But if y'all set part ways, you still going to be a king, you still going to be a queen, but y'all just not made out to be together. You know what I'm saying? But... Anyway... Yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all comment below any more reactions y'all want me to do. I'm going to try to be back to later tonight after work to do more reactions because my hands not hurt no more. But that's all I have for this reaction video. Make sure you guys tune in for the next reaction video.